In this video, I'm going to show you how to fold an origami Labrador designed by Stephen Casey. I'm going to use a square sheet of paper with a side length of 24 centimeters or nine and a half inches. And the finished dog is then 12 centimeters or four and three quarters of an inch long. It's going to be eight centimeters or three and one eighth of an inch high. And depending on shaping about four and a half centimeters or one and three quarters of an inch deep. Now, for a colored model, we're going to start with the color side up and crease the diagonals. Next, we're going to pinch the halfway point just on one side. And then we're going to make a pinch on this diagonal connecting these two points. But we're not going to add the whole crease. We just want to mark one third of the whole paper. So just secure the two points, bend the paper over and then add a pinch right here. And then I'm just going to rotate this so that the pinch mark is more towards the top. I'm going to bring this edge to meet that intersection and then add a crease throughout. Unfold, rotate and bring the edge to the crease line you just added. And now if you want to double check that these are thirds, you can check that the raw edge and the folded edge align. Now we need thirds in the other direction too, so I'm just going to take this edge and bring it to these two intersections. And finally add the last crease to have a three by three grid. Unfold and now we're going to bring this point to that first intersection. Unfold and bring the point to that intersection. And same on the opposite corner. Now we're going to bring this folded edge to the center and same with the other one. Then we're going to go along this long diagonal crease and then we're going to add a crease along this color change edge and try to get a nice accurate point down here. And same on the other side. Unfold and then do an inside reverse fold, opening up this paper, pushing in the white section and collapsing down. Same on the other side. Then we're going to fold down these single layers of paper. Now we're going to bring this folded edge to that central crease line. Make a very strong crease because you have many layers of paper. And then we're going to make an open sink. So we're going to open this paper and all around this rectangle we need mountain folds. So we need to reverse some of the creases. And once you have that, you can push this in so that we'll have valley folds on these creases. And then flatten and strengthen the creases by going all along them. Then we're going to open all of this paper up again and that includes the corners. And then we're going to have a long mountain fold along here. And then we're going to align that mountain fold with this point right here, the edge meeting the crease line, and this point right here. And down here we again have an edge and a crease line. And because we have three points, we should be able to get a nice and straight crease. And then to strengthen the crease, just unfold that one flap and go all the way through. And then we're going to flip this like so, so that you can see you have that small brown triangle on the left. And then we're going to take this edge and align it with this crease line right here. Crease all the way through. And then we're going to open this up, 
up to that pleat and then take this edge and also align it with that crease line. And then here we're just going to straighten this out, soften the paper a little so that we can bring this over and add a crease all the way through. Now I'm going to zoom in on this section. First we're going to take this flap and fold it over so that we meet this corner down here and align edge with edge, make a strong crease. And then we're going to add a crease that goes through where the crease line meets the edge. And then we're going to bring this point so that it meets this edge right there. Then we're going to take this lower part and add a crease along this edge. Add a very strong crease. Unfold. Unfold again. And now we want to make a sink here, so we're just going to press this and then have mountain folds all around. And now we also need to take care of the center. So can you see that small crease right here? That also needs to be a mountain fold. Can you see that? And then some paper will go in here when we close this again. And just ensure that all the creases are straightened out and press flat. So now you can see this is inside. Next we're going to add a crease from this point over to where this straight crease meets that edge. So I'm just going to open the top layer, get a crease started in here and then move it over, secure that point and then crease all the way to that point in there. And then we're going to start flattening this and we want this to flatten completely but we have paper tension here so we're going to just squeeze this in a little so that the paper is in a soft curve and then we're going to press this down flat so that we get the correct angle so you might have to push and pull a little and then we're going to press this flat so that the crease we're creating right here is just an extension of that one right there. And this should actually mean that the crease meets here again with um, a crease line that we added before, like this. Then we're going to take this edge and fold it over to narrow the first front leg that we're folding. So just opening this up a little and then bringing it over and then bringing it in, adding a small squash fold here and then folding it in and then it needs to be folded back just a tiny bit so that we have some extra paper here but it's not going to be visible in the end like this and then we need to repeat all of these steps on the other side but this time on the mirror image so this time we're going to work on the right rather than on the left first Once we have both front legs done, we're going to fold in these sections along existing creases. And then we're going to add a crease that starts in this point and goes over to that point right here. 
So I'm just going to first catch that point, then curl the paper over, and then press this paper in to add a crease right along that edge. And then flatten. Same on the other side. Then we're going to extend these mountain folds right here so that they go through the brown paper. I'm just going to lift this up and then extend the crease. Same on the other side. And then we're going to go along these mountain folds right here. And we have mountain folds here and a long valley fold here. Kind of like a very big open sink. So we're folding this in half here and here. And then this goes in along existing creases. Just ensure that none of the paper curls and then we have this. Next we're going to add a crease that starts down here and we're just going to fold the paper up in a pre-crease and we're going to unfold it and make an outside reverse fold so we're going to open it up and press the paper inside out. And then we want to go along that crease line to flatten the model again. On this side we want mountain folds along this edge, so I'm just going to pre-crease that and then open it up and make a mountain fold all the way through. And then we're going to pinch this together so that we kind of press here and we want to make a crimp and it meets right in this top point and then we swivel it over so that you have just a slight extra section after this point that you can see right here. And basically my orientation point is to usually get these two points to be about the same height although this is just a tiny bit farther up. And this is the start of the hind legs, as you can see. Now we're going to make a crease where we, you know, we leave just a bit of a gap here so that we have a nice shape of the back. And about like this, this is just a shaping of the tail, so it doesn't matter that much what the angle is. And we're going to make an inside reverse fold out of it. And then we're going to take this edge and fold it over to that edge and swivel this paper inside to narrow the hind leg and the tail at the same time. So first we're going to open this layer and then swivel this in. And then we're going to press that paper to the inside to narrow. And same on the other side. Like this. Then we're going to take this section and fold it up like this perhaps, so that this point it's pretty much halfway of that tail and here you can also see you're about halfway and then press flat. Then we're going to take this section right here and you can perhaps pre-crease adding a crease between this point and that point. And then fold inside. Same on the other side. And then we're going to narrow the tail, bringing it in so that we get rid of this paper right here. And we're going to bring it up a little, but not all the way to the point. 
we don't want the tail to be too pointy. So we have this. Then we're going to work a bit on the inside of the model. We want to use this flap and fold the angle in half, like that. Make a strong crease, unfold, and then make an inside reverse fold of it. Press flat, and then you have this. Then we're going to take this section and we're also going to fold it in. And again, it's a bit in the inside of the model. So let's just open this up a little and then fold it in like that. And then make an inside reverse fold out of it. So just unfold it and then bring that paper in along the existing crease and press flat. Same on the other side. First pre-crease. And then inside reverse fold. Like this. And then we can narrow the belly. We're just going to open this up a bit and then fold in so that this paper will then lie flat. And press flat. Do the same on the other side. And press flat. And close the model. Strengthen the creases. And then we can shape the hind legs. So first I'm going to add a crease that starts in this point. So I'm going to bend out the paper and if you want an orientation point you might perhaps try and get this to be straight as in the same direction as that back. And just ensure it goes all the way to the top. Press, there's many layers of paper here, and then fold back out just a tiny section of paper is hidden here to give this kind of look. And then you want the same on the other side, adding the same creases and it's easier if you perhaps unfold this so that you get nice symmetry. Unless, of course, you intentionally want it to be asymmetrical because you want a different stance for the dog. And then just align these two points and then press flat. And then we have that. Now we can make our dog stand on the hind legs. Right here we're going to open these layers and then press so that you get this small kite shape if you look at it from below and then flatten. It looks like this here and same on the second hind leg. Just try to get about the same size. Always compare the sides and then again press flat. In the front you're going to open from behind and then you're going to again have a kite shape and you're going to fold that kite shape to the front and then close it up like this. And same on the other side. First a kite shape Press it flat and bring it forward and close it up. So that's what we've got now. 
Finally, we're going to work on the head and I wanted to keep that for the finish. So we're going to add a crease between this point and that point. I'm just going to slightly pre-crease and then make an inside reverse fold and add precision here. And then you have this. And we're going to take this point and bring it over here. Many layers of paper, so make a strong crease. And then an open sink. So we're just going to open us up, add mountain folds all the way around. And then press in along existing crease lines, like this. Then we can hide some paper right here, just folding it in in a mountain fold. And when we have that, we can also bring in this small section of white paper. this and same on the other side. Then we're going to take this flap and we're going to bring it up and out and then we want to align edge with edge like this and flatten. Then we're going to open this section like this and you're going to have a crease starting in about that point right here. So not quite here with the brown edge but rather on the white edge. And then you're just going to ensure that this edge right here aligns with the edge below so that we have the right angle for the head this. Next we're going to form the ears and for this you go about halfway and you add a crease. I'm just going to go inside these two layers right here and start adding a mountain fold in a slight angle so that this section is wider than that section. Perhaps like this and then push in the paper here a little and also push on this crease so that you're adding some extra paper here to change the shape of the ear a little. And then press it flat and if you're not quite happy with that shape you can change it now. But I'm okay with this so I'm just going to try and make this look approximately the same, although, you know, with real dogs the ears are also not going to be completely symmetrical. So don't worry too much about making it look exactly the same. Then to shape the ears a bit we're just going to fold inside that corner a little bit. like this and same on the other side and also up here folding in some paper to shape the ears and the head and press because there's many layers of paper here and if you want to hide this small section of paper, you can fold it inside, like that. And depending on how you shape the ears, you might not see that section of paper to begin with. Now, the final step is shaping the head. And for this, we're going to start a crease up here that goes a bit towards the inside. 
and then back out, perhaps like this. And then you also need to shorten it. And then you can check whether you like that look. And if you don't, you can adjust it. So I want to have this maybe slightly differently angled. And it's a bit too short. So I'm just going to lengthen it. And now I'm happy. And when I have that, I'm just going to press on these creases to make them strong. And then I'm going to open it up and open this up, go along the first one and then the third one in a mountain fold again and then the second one, like this. And then your Labrador, designed by Stephen Casey, is all done. Now you might want to shape this a little so that the dog stands very nicely. I'm just going to press this flat. You can put some heavy books on top overnight. That helps a lot. And then you can see that the dog stands nicely and isn't it absolutely cute. Now, if you're interested in diagrams for this model, they're included in the book Everything Origami by Matthew Gardner. And if you like this video, you can make me extra happy by giving it a thumbs up, commenting below and sharing it with your friends. Plus, if you want to fold more origami animals, check out the playlist I've put together for exactly that. And finally, do subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next videos. And with that, I wish you happy folding!